What is up YouTube? Here today I'm going to be showing you a quick video on my reef tank. Um, it's been a while. It's been about six months since my last update. And um, I'm just going to go over in this video all the successes, the losses, and the things that I've been doing with the tank to uh, help me uh, keep going this far. Um, I'll get started with the video just with the bad news, um, my losses, um, I used to have a Coral Beauty, and, um, that Coral Beauty was, uh, probably one of the showpiece fish, and that died about two weeks ago, just one, one day, looked in the tank, and it was just laying on the sand bed, no apparent reason, I checked all the the parameters and they were all good no big swings or anything um, I don't really know the cause but I guess that's just what happens in this uh, reef world uh, the other loss was a uh, yellow watchman goby now when I first got this uh, goby it never um, looked like it was doing good at the start I mean it would always be swimming around at the surface and know that gobies don't really do that and um i don't know it's just kind of a weird fish um and uh one day something bit off its tail i don't know why or how but it could have been the royal grandma or the clowns bit it off and then swam into the anemone and bit off or the anemone ate it and got a nice little meal out of it so that was very weird it was strange I don't know why it died but who knows uh, so I just picked up that new uh, fairy wrasse and that fairy wrasse is very cool got a sweet deal on that one and I'll show more in depth on that fairy wrasse later in the vid. Um, but overall, this um, aquarium setup and the the tank has been doing very well. Um, I'll, in this video, I'll go over some flow and um, what I just put in to uh, help me out. Put in a new wave maker. Uh, and also just what I'm running in the back and yeah I'll get into it alright let's get into this video um, start off um, the fish so as you can see that's a red headed um, salon fairy grass um, I picked it up at the local reef store um, and um, got a sweet deal off of it 30 bucks I know online those things run for about 50 60 bucks depending on the area and um, got a sweet deal on it and it seems to be doing very well knock on wood um, but yeah I'm really enjoying that fish um, there's a green star polyp I'm hoping that it will take over that whole rock right there and um, kind of just have a big grassy rock um, this torch coral um, I, I've had that for around three months and um, it's it's been always doing very good um, yeah I'm, I, I like how it flows with the water and the colors really pop from um, the lighting um, The flow. Uh, I just picked up a J bow RW8, um, and it it's a wave maker and it has a couple different settings. I'll get into it on uh, another video, a more in depth video. But it does make a pretty substantial wave. Like um, you, if you turn it on too high, it'll rip the flesh right off the corals and water will be gushing out of your top of your tank. 
So be careful if you're thinking about getting one because they are very powerful. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely go on an in-depth video on that. Uh, for coral glue, um, I'm using Ecotec coral glue. Uh, seemed to be working pretty well. Uh, just kind of sticks adhesive right to the rock and kind of shut it off the flow for a little bit and let it set up. But the main issue with my tank is Aptasia. Now they have been Remember in my last video, I said they were no big deal, but they are a big deal. They pop up in your corals, they irritate them, and they don't let make them. They don't let them fully extend. And so I got me some Aptasia X. Now this stuff works. It's a concentrated calcium mix that um, when you put in the mouths of the Aptasia, they just kind of shrivel up and implode from the inside. And it's pretty cool to watch. I'll do a info video on that one too. Um, and yeah, it's very cool to see them. But you gotta, you got you gotta do it every day. You can't just do it once or twice every week or so. Um, if you want to get rid of them, you gotta do them every day. And they have doses and stuff that you can look for. Um, but. More on the J bow. Um, it's uh, it's hooked up to a controller, so it's all controllable by speed. It can go anywhere from 200 gallons per hour to 2,000, um, and it can push a lot of water. As as you can see, like my tank is running, running and. Um, flows really good right now I just have it on the lowest level but I haven't really tried any higher levels because um, a little bit nervous on how much flow this tank can take but it uh, has a couple modes you can send it to a ramp up ramp down um, a random flow but that's if you have two or um, two or more RW8s or any of that RW series and you can set them they wireless wirelessly sync to each other and you can do a lot more options with that um, they got a, a couple night modes a lot of cool features on that um, but yeah overall this tank is doing good all right so the last thing I have to say is um, I think I'm gonna start dosing well I need to go get a test kit first and um, Check my um, calcium, my alkalinity, and my uh, magnesium because I feel like my corals aren't doing the most that they can do. Um, I've had um, some of these corals for a year now. I mean, that hammer coral has been there for a year. Um, then that Kenny Kane coral has been in my tank for six months and only split once. I don't know if. I mean, I feel like they should be splitting more and growing more, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to wrap this video up. Like, comment, subscribe, and happy reefing.